So to keep from perishing, we must have a vision. <laughs> so what's the vision for your life? What's the revelation that God's shown you? You know, the, 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 the revelation that God's given our, me personally that's reflected into my ministry and that I've been able to preach and to teach and talk to many, many people about is, is three parts. It's number one, God ain't mad at you. And I'm so adamant about that message because when I was in my 20s, I'd fallen, I'd started casting off some restraint in some areas of my life, started stumbling over myself in some things. And I began to question even my own salvation, began to deal with condemnation and fear, anxiety. I didn't, anxiety wasn't as big uh, of a label as it is today as it was back when I was dealing with this. But looking back, I'm dealing with anxiety, which was wrapped in fear. And the root of it was all in condemnation. And that's, if I may, talk about this. Those of you that are dealing with anxiety, you're dealing with the struggles of feeling anxious in life. I want to ask you just to take some self-reflective time and look at the core, the root of that anxiety that you're dealing with. It possibly is rooted from condemnation. Are you, are you condemning yourself or are you allowing condemnation to eat away at your life for maybe a past sin or condemnation because you got this perfection mentality that everything has to be just right. And if it isn't just right, you feel bad or guilty. It's a, it's a condemning attack that actually produces this fruit of anxiety. And so I was dealing with all this stuff. And I began to get into the scripture and I began to discover this wonderful thing called righteousness, this this understanding that I am right with God and He is accepting of me, not based upon Zachary, but based upon Jesus. And I tell y'all, that set me free. But I had to get this revelation of that. And it went on to part two that Jesus loves me. And actually the, the clincher of the scripture was uh, found in Romans chapter four, the very last verse, that he was raised up for my offenses or you know, delivered up for my offenses and raised up for my justification. My sin, my guilt, my, my running wild put him on that cross. But when he was raised up, it brought my justification, my just if I never sinned, my declared innocence. All because of Jesus. And then the third part of this revelation was that God has a good plan for my life. And that sustains me. That helps keep me going. So whenever I start to beat myself up or start feeling insecure or start feeling less than, you know, even preachers are insecure. Uh, dare I say, maybe more insecure than some of the people in the congregation, right? Or, or in, in the audience. And, and there's a lot of comparison that goes on, right? It, it happens even in ministry or, or in leadership maybe in your school or at your job. And so when we're dealing with these things, what happens is we're losing our vision. We're losing that uh, understanding that it's, it's only for this audience of one. It's, it's, it's an understanding that we're doing this because God accepts me. And all of a sudden we keep a hold of that. Jesus loves me, even though I may not feel like it, Jesus loves me. And that sustains me to know he's got a good plan for my life. So that's the vision.